there is a possibility that narcissistic abuse will inspire you. And now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that the people are an inspiration to you. Nobody's inspired by abusers, whether it's toxic family members or abusive exes or abusive spouses. I'm not talking about being inspired by them. I'm talking about being inspired because of them. The problem with being inspired in this way is that you may feel that you cannot go forward with what's burning inside of you because you're not quite healed yet. You may want to wait until you're more healed. Yet you can't ignore that there's some kind of a fire inside of you. Something that you want to say, something that you want to do. And maybe you're an author and you want to write a book and maybe you want to make videos or maybe you want to you fill in the blank with whatever your skills and your talents are. I'm just here to tell you right now, don't wait. Let's go. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal Weed. Now, before I continue with this very important message, I want to let you know I'm here to support you. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one appointments with me. I take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. In addition to taking one-on-one phone calls. I also have a coaching program. My coaching program is live and in person Monday through Friday. We are a community of people who are going no contact, breaking trauma bonds, moving forward in life, passion, purpose, the whole thing, toxic free 2023. Let's go get down there and get registered. And we will be working on purpose in life, which is important coming out of narcissistic abuse. Now, this is an important video because it's important for me. It's near and dear to my heart, and I will share why. But it's also something that I come across during one-on-one consultations and appointments with people. I have heard many, many, many people who are in the process of going no contact, who are healing from narcissistic abusive family members, who come from a lifetime of abuse in their childhood upbringing, or who've just come out of a marriage with an abusive partner. And a lot of people are artists. A lot of these people are musicians. A lot of these people are skilled with various talents. And they say this one thing, and it's true for me too, that there, there's this inspiration to do something, to write something, to make YouTube videos, to write a song. But following that, there's, well, I, I just want to wait until I'm more healed. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm healed. I don't feel like I'm ready yet. And if that's you watching this video, I want to share something with you. Are you ready? You will never be more ready than you are right now. I'm going to say this again. You will never be more ready than you are right now. Whatever your desire is coming out of narcissistic abuse, whatever your passion is, whatever that fire is that's burning inside of you, whatever the idea is to write about, to make music about, to make videos about. You'll never be in a better healed place than you are at this moment to start. And yes, I know. I know that you're hurting. I know that you feel crushed. I know that you are ruminating. I know that you are lacking motivation as a result of the abusive relationship. I know you're crying a lot. I know all this stuff. But I also know this. That holding off on that burning inspiration that you now have, all that's going to do is delay your start time. Not only that, but you'll just never feel ready to start. I'm going to share with you when I started the Royal We, can I? When I started the Royal We, I was in so much pain. I had no idea what I was doing. I, I turned my phone on. I recorded my videos on my phone, the first few videos that I did. Actually, a lot of videos I did, right? Stitched them together the best that I possibly could. 
all while knowing darn well I was not healed, I was in all kinds of trouble, mentally, emotionally. But it's for that reason that I started, even in the pain, that I'm at where I'm at now, which is fantastic because I get to spend every day talking with beautiful people like you, encouraging beautiful people like you. But it did not come until I made the decision to start, no matter what pain I was in. The pain that you're experiencing from narcissistic abuse should not stop you or get in the way of your inspiration. You need to face that inspiration even if you don't feel like it and do it. I promise you, you'll be glad you did in the future. There's no reason to wait. If you're inspired to write something, start writing it now. If you're inspired to make music, make that music now. If you're inspired to start a YouTube channel, do it today. Don't wait. In fact, as soon as this video is done, turn it off, go get your camera or your phone, turn it on, and talk. Speak. Use your voice. Put the pen to paper. Just do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. My videos to this day still aren't perfect. This video you're watching right now is not perfect. Nothing's going to be perfect. And I'm going I'm to throw in something else too. Here I am five years later doing the Royal We content and I'm still not 100% healed. The reason it's important to move forward with your inspiration is because number one, there's no such thing as being completely healed. If you're hanging on this far into this video, first of all, good for you. Thank you. And I am going to hit you with some harsh truths for those of you who have stuck with me in this video this long. Are you ready? There is no healing to the extent that you think you're going to be healed. If you're waiting for all the pain to go away, if you're waiting to have all the answers to all of your questions about abuse in this world, if you're waiting to figure out why your mommy and daddy treated you so horribly, why your daddy left, why your mommy left, why you were yelled at, why you were neglected, why you were put down, why nothing you do is ever good enough for those people. If you're waiting to know the answers as to why your husband is cheating on you, why your wife left you, if you're waiting for the answers as to why your grown adult children are now off married, have grandbabies, and they won't let you around, if you're waiting for the answers to why evil exists in the world, you might as well wait for answers on why the sky is blue during the day and black during the night. You're not going to get answers. It is what it is. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with educating yourself, gaining wisdom and, and understanding and watching videos like this. However, it cannot get in the way of you putting one foot in front of the other and moving into your purpose because you now have a fire lit inside of you. You've been inspired because of the abuse that you've experienced. Don't put it on hold waiting for answers that you're never going to get. Don't put it on hold waiting for this, this pain to go away, which it may never. Some of the pain that you have from narcissistic abuse, you're going to live with for the rest of your life. It's not going anywhere. From my understanding, a lot of that pain is simply the pain of living in a world where we have to be on guard because abuse is real. Murder is real. Again, I've said this many times, we share a world with thieves, murderers, rapists, molesters, and then there's also good people, and there's healers. It's all here. You can't live in a jungle and not expect a snake to jump out from behind the tree from time to time because they're there. So we live in this world with all these things. You better believe you're going to live with discomfort as a result of that. You better believe you're going to be on guard. You're going to feel like you're walking on tiptoes. And some of you might be saying, but I never did before. When I was in my 20s, I didn't feel this way. Well, yeah, listen, when we were all in our 20s, we were naive. That's just, that's just it. We were so caught up with where we were going to go to, you know, 
have our our hang out with our friends and get buzzed or whatever whatever you did in your 20s i don't know everything was a coping mechanism everything was 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 hidden we hid all the the bad stuff in the world just by constantly having fun but many of us would say wow it's amazing i i survived my 20s with the dumb things that we did right but at this point in life those dumb things are put behind us and now we are faced with the reality of the world we live in you better believe it's uncomfortable but the point of this message is to not let the uncomfortableness that discomfort to stop you or to dim that fire to dim that inspiration the narcissistic abuse that you experienced that lit a fire in you that inspired you again not because of the people that you're not inspired by the people you're inspired because of the situation don't wait There's not going to be a better time. You're not going to get this time back. You're not going to get this day back. I promise you that. Nobody's getting this day back. I'm not getting this day back. I better do what I'm doing right now, right at this moment, because there is no do-over for today. All right. That was a good little pep talk for the Royal We community. Glad that you are here. And I will be back with more videos for you on the Royal We, if you would like one-on-one support, head on down there, schedule some time with me, telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. I'd love to talk with you. Also, the Royal We coaching program is Monday through Friday. My coaching program is live. So spend time with me each and every day. As a growing community, we are working together to stay no contact, hold each other accountable, moving into 2023, toxic free. Join the community. And we'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal Wii.